Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dichronic Heroes here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be taking a look at my DPS Titan build for PvE. Now similarly to my DPS Hunter build, this is going to be a focus on getting the most DPS for raid encounters. But even then, this thing can be used to great effect in a lot of end game content and in the live comm you'll be seeing us do a 1030 Master Nightfall to show off its efficacy against champions more than just using it against boss damage. Now I'll state right here and right now, this build is actually very common. We've been using this build since the beginning of Season of Dawn. It's really not that complicated, and you probably know most of the things I'm about to say, but there's probably a few things here and there that you may not know about. So in a nutshell, this is a PvE Titan build that is built on the Ward of Dawn Super for the best weapon damage boost in the game. The Weapons of Light weapon boost that you get from Ward of Dawn is the best in the game at plus 35%. Combine this with your Rally Barricade for fast reloading and any of the best enemy debuffs like Divinity, Tether, or Hammer Strike to get the maximum DPS in the game. And as such, this build is my best Titan build for raids, nightfalls, and high health bosses in PvE. Now there is a PvP version for this build because Word of Dawn is actually incredibly tough in PvP and can survive ridiculous attacks, but for the most part we'll be talking about the PvE side of it. And similarly to the previous build videos I've made, this video is going to be split into three main sections. This first part is going to be the intro that you're experiencing right now. Hi, how are you? Second part is going to be the bulk of the video, a live com of me using the build in action. And finally, a deep dive into the numbers and the document that I've made for you about all of the different mod choices, the weapon choices, alternatives, and all the little details that you may need if you wanted to make this build at home. And as a last little note, I just wanted to mention the live com. I'm not using the perfect recommended weapons that I have in the dock and this is because of power advantage I just so happen to have a spare rations and I Kellos that were a lot higher power level and I needed the power level for the master nightfall so what you're gonna see is a slightly varied version of this build but it's still in the build document and they're great weapons to use all right moving on let's go ahead and head into a nightfall ordeal master 1030 power this is pretty much the pinnacle power you can do for Nightfalls. Obviously, Grandmaster comes out next week, and this thing is going to be quite saucy. Let's go ahead and head into a Master difficulty and see how that is. All right. My brain immediately just went right stick is forward. This Nightfall has just scarred me. <laughs> I'm still on Legacy Southpaw, and oh my god, the enemies are not swords. My brain expected them to be swords. They're still swords for me because I'm 17 down. Ah, one of those poor people. Just cut that from the video, just, you know, whatever. Oh, he 180'd on you real hard on that one. I am not handling barrier, there we go. Oof, that guy went down like some wet toilet paper, am I right? I'm actually kind very of optimistic, I thought this down. was gonna be harder. I've been suffering a lot for power disadvantage for like nightmare hunts and stuff, I just, I thought this was gonna start to like shake my bones, where is it? There they are. So that's the first death. How many, uh, do you guys want to put a bet down on how many times I die? That's kind of my thing. No, there's no match game in the forest. They don't have a say. Check this out, boys. Solar. Takes out the shield. There's no match game in the forest! It, it kind of pisses me off. Like, what are we doing here, Bungie? You know, this content that you brought back for all these seasonal events, no match game in the forest. Really I showing it. It's a little bit if we're going for 100, but we'll see. Well, it depends on the forest spawns you get to, which is part of the problem. Yeah, if we get a double Hydra platform, we're probably solid. I'm feeling good. This is easy. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> so what, where does this place us? We didn't actually make it to the... Well, actually, that was the last oh, platform. Oh, I saw it change to 28. Yeah, this is the beginning of the forest. Damn it. <laughs> that was the end of the forest! I'm not sure I understand. I'm about to die like seven times over. Hydra's almost down. Hydra's down. Nicely done. How many points was that Hydra? Uh, 2300. And that's why Hydra platforms are great! All of the other kills don't equal. Goodbye. The, uh, the Hydra. So if you get two Hydras on one platform plus the adds, you're golden. I'm gonna wait. You can shoot at me all day. I'm gonna wait right behind this little barricade. You know? Yeah. All right, move up. I just want to keep firing the little lasers. Ooh, we get a little seed action right here. Maybe it's spongy. Oh, that's a good grenade. Oh, I felt that one in my soul, unfortunately. Ah, oh, the double melee after the break is so bull. You break yeah, a shield. Oh no. We probably should just restart. I would restart. Yeah. <laughs> 
emergency restart. We are, we are still recording. It's always one of those fears that I have. I look over and I see the start recording button. But no, it says stop recording. We're good. The Cabal Invasion are trapped inside the Bricka 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 Bear. Oh, that was a nade I didn't see. Ooh, I'm weak. Backing up. It seems we are doing a little bit worse. <laughs> Is there enemies over here? Why are they so far away? You know what? This uh, there's just so many enemies in one. There's so many enemies in one spot. I'm just done. I wanted to kill them all, and then I can pull my sparrow because that's a thing we can do. My brain is so hardwired. This mission going no sparrow, no sparrow, no sparrow, no sparrow, mm -hmm. and then it's like sparrow. Uh, we got we got some. Whoa! Did not see him. <laughs> oh, there you go. are like we're killing this guy first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Consume the chaff. Love this cute. People always sleeping on Nykelos. I'm like, damn it, dude. This thing is good. So good. Has better damage per shot and total ammo efficiency because of that. Okay. That's a one health situation. I'm sitting right here. Whoa, whoa. Okay. This is my safe space. Do not come into my safe space. There's bubbles uh, back there, the uh, orbs, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's little bubbles back in the bubble, yes. And that goes for everybody out there. If you're about to die, pop, and you have a bubble, pop your super. If you have a well, pop your super. There's a bunch of yellow bars that I saw. Open the door, open the door, open the door. Let the madman get through. <laughs> I got him first. <laughs> I got him first. Or hands on. Oh, is that special? I'm just seeing green these days. Let's go. You can't give up an opportunity to get some special. Oh, we got a Hydra. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Do you guys jump when you reload? I have a consistent problem where I jump when I reload. Sometimes. That's 2200. But yeah, basically it takes 10 Hobgoblins to equal one Hydra. If you can have a platform with two Hydras, that's 20 of them. See, look at that. I jump. Reload jump. It's like my body has to do something as bored. From you were playing PvP probably, you're used to trying <laughs> to jump behind cover. I, 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 my brain, I, my fucking god. I was like, don't jump, don't jump, and I did it. I just pull, I squeeze the controller, and I hit that paddle on the right. <laughs> I thought we were in the haunted forest, and I'm like, where's the chest? I need the chest. What? The, what? What? He what? teleported everywhere. What was, <laughs> what was that? Uh, right after the portal is an excellent location for a ring flex, though. So. Oh, I already have it again. I have mine, too. I mean, you're not so special. <laughs> there you go. It's all you, bud. Stay alive. Stay alive. I'm going in. Okay. Stay alive. Just jump again, man. Just can't help the but champion jump. here? Yeah. Try to avoid him for now. There's two champions. There's two barrier champions. Let's go. Oh my god, he killed me through my super because barriers are ridiculous. I have a bubble. I needed the bubble. Left first. Left first. Yeah, yeah. Handle. Excellent. 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 6,800 from that champion. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. DPS. 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 Yes. Kill him. Kill him. Finish good, him. Good. I, I, I clicked the wrong button, but I got him. Let's go. Good team. Good team. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a champion. Okay. I was like, yeah, just get him. Finish him. Got him. Yeah. I was. Oh, you got him first. So we have to go up there and get him. All right, get him. Hit him up. Wonderful. Don't fall. Don't fall. Got him. That's how the dream works, boys. We have to dump him here right right now. Right now. Dude, what is the phase on that? Doesn't have a cooldown. That's why barriers are just stupid. It's the dumbest champion design ever. Spam, 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 respawn. No! Oh, Jesus. I don't know why I'm alive. He gave me I a have 1% health, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you clench a butthole, let me tell you. A lot of experience here clenching buttholes. I just killed myself. 
I just killed myself. This damn barrier barricade just kills me! Oh, boys. I'm going off on these goblins. I'm so good at goblin killing. <laughs> Very boy. Execute him, execute him. Yep, 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 okay. Here Spamming the button going, I need it. Yeah. I need it, I need it. Alright, I gotta get up there and go say hello to him. I gotta touch him. I wanna touch it! Like a, like a kid's like, I wanna touch it. Execute. Yeah! Get that Belgian kick! Yeah! Alright, dump him. Execute. Yeah! That's how you do it. You can't, you, they can't get their shield back if we kill them in two seconds. That's what's up. What's up? Ooh, special ammunition. I feel like a, like a beautiful girl. I think it's gonna be 100k. Like, there's, there's still multiple champions, and uh, we'll still have half points for a while. We know how this boss is. So if we can get to the third area, that's the best spot for this guy. Oh god, I almost fell off. Yeah, with the third area, we can just up versus down. Oh my yeah, god. That's the best way to handle him. Okay. Uh, shoot, shoot the barrier around. Shoot, shoot the. I'm the one with it. Uh, no, Neo has it too. Just try to pepper his shields, Neo, to like keep him down. Just pepper him, just pepper him. No, he didn't hit him at all. Yeah, so d don't actually go with a full clip. Just pepper it to keep it down so he doesn't get any recharge. Oh, okay. If you, if you can't break the shields on your own, you know what I'm saying? Just try to like pepper it to keep him down. I got a uh, grenade. And I hit myself with it. <laughs> I'm gonna climb up like I have to mantle things like a pleb. I've hit that sign off the edge. Wonderful. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna... Got him. Oh, you came back up, did you? Welcome back to death. Uh, more... S yeah, void shield. Ooh, gotta love that. Suppression grenade. That's why I use for suppression grenade. They start doing the wooshy wooshy where they can't see. By the way, has there been any disruptor champions? No, I've only seen barrier. I think it's just the boss fight where the minotaurs show up. Uh, orange gladiator, the... orange gladiator. Uh, I'm getting shot by the, the champion. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh, I blinded him. Oh, I was just slightly down lower. He couldn't shoot. He couldn't swing me. Uh, don't go in too hard, Neo. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm completely out of ammo. Finish. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Ooh, there's some special. Ooh, double special. Right into the boss fight. That's what you like to see. Ooh, there more? Oh, there are more champions with this difficulty. I forgot that there's increased mob. Ooh, fuck. I have full Ariana, so we're good on barriers. All right, don't be near where the boss is. This, the hardest part of this boss is going to be these first two rooms. Okay, I will save my bubble for room two. We just get this dude out of my freaking face, bro. Oh, I've just been sniped with one shot. A champ, three champions have arrived. I did not know three champions would arrive. My body is scared. Watch the lasers. Oh God, I disrupted him. Okay. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, oh, there's a laser here. Okay, we're doing this. Disrupt around. I got him. Welcome back. Oh, he's, he's disrupted. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my butt is so clenched with those guys. Technically, we don't have to kill these guys. We could run past and go to the next area. Well, let's go ahead and do that. I need a lot more ammo. Famine is being felt. Famine is being felt. Oh, watch hello, out, boss. Watch out, watch out. Up versus down, up versus down. Enemies are coming in. Half points at 25. Ooh, ooh, heavy. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. That was a beautiful melee. Getting my overshield and all that. Gorgeous. Oh, right, the boss we have to do damage to him. My body was like, alright, what's next? Where's the champion? Takes so many shotgun shots to kill these harpies, man. Oh, there's another one coming in. I got an arc bolt grenade. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Oh, the lasers went around. Went away in time. I don't have an arc for the last one. Okay, so I can stun the overload. You want to just chaos reach when I do? Sure. Go, go. Alright, cool. Just leave. So if he comes Don't down here, just go up. That's basically the plan. Oh, okay. Because he can't do anything as he's jumping down or jumping up. And then just move to the other side. So I just go back and forth between these two, handle the ads, and then we can shoot the boss along the way. He's down. Go up. And now he's up. Go back down. That's how you do this fight. Come here, boy. Come here. 
Ooh, I'm down. It's always up versus down. Lasers. He's still he's still up. And his name is oh, I'm dead as shit. Oh, I'm alive. A bubble of 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 beautiful nature. <laughs> Uh, we should be able to kill him pretty soon. Oh, he's down. Stay in the bubble. Kill him. Kill him. Get him. Get him. You're a baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so if anybody else wants to do that strike, uh, and the boss is hard, up versus down. Either be down there when he's up here, or vice versa, and that, that's how you that's do it. That's the pro strat we figured out back in Curse of Us. Oh, I got a DFA. Let's go. I, I just love the pro strats of going, you don't have to kill oh, them. Yeah. Let's just walk by. Because yeah. <laughs> two barrier goblins? Nah. Woo. All right. I that's the life would, uh... And finally, let's go ahead and take a deep dive into the numbers. In this section, I'm going to be going over all the little specific details for all the guns, the armors, the mods, the class and subclass, even the grenade, and all the details about how would you would use this in gameplay, everything that I know. First up, let's talk about some specs. For the class and subclass, obviously it's going to be a Titan Void Code of the Protector. Very important, Code of the Protector is the bubble. I personally like using suppressor grenades because it disrupts enemies and it's pretty easy to use. Rally Barricade for faster reloading if you don't have a Lunafaction Rift Warlock. And then finally, Strafe Lift is just the operative choice for Titan. For the guns, my favorite combo is going to be Recluse, Imperial Decree, and Wish for the Worm. Pretty much like my number one or number two best of all the different types, all in one loadout, and I love it. It. There are obviously a lot of different alternatives, especially for the heavy weapon, whether you're doing Garvin Salvation or you just don't have the Wish for the Room Catalyst, you obviously have a lot of options, as well as a legendary option here with Line of the Sand. For the special weapons, you can use anything like Izanagi's, Imperial, Lord of Wolves, Ikelos, Divinity, depending on what your job is, what your role is, you can obviously switch those out to whatever you want. Then finally, for the armor piece in general, you're going to want a lot of intellect, sniper, and heavy special ammo finder. And any point in this that I mentioned sniper, you could easily change that out for shotgun if you have a DPS shotgun. Specifically for the headpiece, Helmet Saint 14 is the operative choice for bubbles and sniper finder and sniper targeting if you, again, are using Izanagi's or Whisper. For the chest piece, sniper unflinching and sniper reserve. For the class item, pump action because you have Imperial Decree or some shotgun, gives you your super faster. Remote connection if you're using Izanagi for your special ammo and finally hands-on is just the basic you know punching for your overshield you might as well get some credit for it next up let's talk about the gameplay and play style of this build as i said before this is a boss dps build with a decent neutral game now i mainly use this build in raids and nightfalls and the focus of this build is to get your super for boss damage in the boss damage phase it is your job to make a ward of dawn for all of your team to have weapons of light damage buff on top of that you can also place down your rally barricade to get faster reloading if you don't have a Well of Radiance Warlock with Lunafaction Boots. After placing down your Ward of Dawn, you should start your DPS weapon like Whisper the Worm, and it's very important if you have Whisper the Worm to use Whisper Breathing because that increases your damage by 60%. So if you don't have the Catalyst, go and get it. If you don't have it though, you should probably use a different weapon. It is also very important to keep in mind the Ward of Dawn is very tough and can be considered a very safe place to survive most attacks from most enemies. And this also includes most slam melee attacks as well. If you are using Helmet Saint 14, you can also take your strong overshield out of the bubble and blind enemies inside of the bubble, making your survivability even greater. So don't be afraid to use your Ward of Dawn to prevent yourself from dying, because sometimes surviving is a lot more important than having super in your pocket. And finally, you should find a consistent super generation for your playstyle and loadout. If you're using a shotgun, as I said before, pump action is the best for getting your super energy. If you're using a sniper rifle, remote connection works the best, and then hands-on is always great for that defensive strike for the instant overshield. And lastly, I just wanted to talk about the last little bits of alternatives that I haven't yet mentioned. The idea here is you want to use Wisp of the Worm if you have Rally Flag, and the target is a relatively non-moving big crit hit for a long period of time. If that's not the case, you should switch to something else. Xenophage is generally easy to use. Sleeper Simulator, generally easy to use. You don't have to wait for Whispered Breathing, any of that stuff. Or if you like Izanagi, that's also a great option because of its ammo economy or Lord of Wolves. Also good ammo economy because they're special ammo weapons. You need to keep this in mind when you're doing certain activities. So Whisper of the Worm is not always the choice you go with, only for those raid crit spots. And the very last thing I wanted to mention is that there is an alternative for your exotic. Because of the fact that Helm the same 14 is not a critical part of this build you know the fact that you're getting weapons of light from the bubble not the actual helmet itself 
you can actually change your exotic to Doomfang Pauldron if you need more ad killing options while still being able to use Word of Dawn when you need it. Now most people use Code of the Aggressor with Doomfang because there's slightly more advantages but you can still use it with Protector just fine. You still get your shield backs from melee, you still get your melee back from shield and your super lasts longer, lots of great stuff there no matter what you're doing. And that's pretty much it, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy, let me know in the comments down below what kind of build you want to see next. I'm thinking about some PvP stuff, I have a really good PvP Titan build, I know I do a lot of Titans but I'm hashtag Team Titan all the way. So let me know what you guys would like to see from me in the future and of course check out the previous build videos that I've made, because I've actually made quite a few now so check those out. But that's it, my name's been Iconic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.